So pretty much what I'm doing now is just going through and fixing issues that have been coming up. I start, I've been utilizing layers, started previously utilizing them and continue to just making it, uh, making adjustments. It's what my, my favorite part of using layers are is to take, like let's say I have the, I don't know, the, like the feet, the, the good example, the, the feet are moving the way that they are, the legs are moving, and maybe I didn't, you know, maybe I translated it in X a little bit, but maybe I want to put some other little bit of flair on it. Maybe I want the foot to, uh, maybe I want the right leg to come out a little bit or have this little twist in the foot or something. And I don't want to go through the, the, the uh, translate X curve and make these adjustments because maybe I like the way that it is. It's, it's nice. It's clean. I don't want to disrupt it. So I'll use an animation layer. I'll go in the animation layer. I'll set a key at the beginning and the end because it, maybe it's something I want to happen during that course, course of that time, or if it's something in the middle, maybe it's uh, between frames five and nine that I want it to move like that. Then on the animation layer, I'll set a key at five and nine. And then at frame seven, I'll make the adjustment. That way, it, what the animation that comes before that leading up to five, and then the animation that comes out of that going from nine to 16 doesn't change. I haven't adjusted, I haven't, I haven't um, added anything to that. I've just added it between five and nine. So those are little bits too. And sometimes with the shoulders too, uh, maybe I have them animated a certain way, but I want to go in and just add a little bit something else. And I tend to use it more on things that don't cycle because then I can really have fun with it. If a, a, a cause one of the things that happens in cycles is you don't want to do anything that stands out completely. You don't want to, you're not going to on a run cycle, 16 frame or 20 frame run cycle. You're not going to do anything where the character's head is constantly turning right or left, or he's fiddling with something. And it, it needs to be a fairly uh, straightforward cycle that later on, you know, I mean, through additives, we can actually add, um, or through layers rather, we can add care, uh, like chest moving around and within you know, either with animation or within the engine and where the chest might be moving around and the head's looking around and there's just little bits of um, information that kind of help add variety to the run, but it's nothing that you're going to actually put in the run cycle itself because the run cycle needs to cycle perfectly. It, you need to feel like it's a cycle too. You just add that variety and variation to break up the fact that it's a cycle so it's not punching you in the face every time like, yes, I'm a cycle, like, like idle cycles. You do a breathing idle and then create breakaway or breakout, breakaway, breakout animations where the character scratches his head or uh, picks its nose, scratches its butt, uh, checks the checks the the uh, the contents of the clip on the gun, or observes his you know, Valerian steel sword, and and so on. So those are breakout animations that add variety to the idle cycle and help it not just feel like this very generic, very vanilla idle cycle that you know that no one wants to see, or you just get bored of, bored with. So obviously you can watch everything I'm doing here and just mute, mute me, mute my, mute your audio. But that's pretty much what I'm doing in the, in this, the next section, I, I'm going to go over a trick to offsetting, basically getting, um, taking copying poses or copying keyframes on one side, uh, pasting it on the other side and then offsetting it. That way you get, you, you get a starting point for your animation for your arms, for instance, I don't like doing it with the legs cause I like to just handle the legs all at once. And I, cause I, I don't, I don't like that idea of just doing one side and getting that down. I, it's just, it's just my preference. And I've seen some people that love to do that and 
I don't. So, so here that begins with the copying. So I selected all the arm, the curves in the the arm from the shoulder to the upper arm, the elbow, and the hand, the wrist. And then I select this and I copy. And then I select the same, I select it in the same order on the other side. I'm not sure if that matters or not. I just do it because I uh, just do it. So I, then I paste it. And of course, they're both, it, it's both happening at the same time when you're watching it run. So the key is to turn on cycling. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So you'll turn on cycling for everything and then get up close and personal and then off start to drag the uh, the curves until you get the appropriate positioning for the arm and now you've got a starting position for the the opposite arm as far as animation is concerned and then you can go in and tweak it as needed obviously i had to tweak his uh, the elbow or the lower arm on the left side because he's got that that, uh, that gauntlet or whatever whatever the hell that thing is and so i had to make adjustments on that one but hey it gave me a starting point i didn't have to animate it from scratch which was great so so and that's another thing i could use an animation layer on i could have that copy over add it to an animation layer Whoa, what was that um add it to an animation layer add some some individual elements to it so it didn't it didn't look like an exact copy of the left of the right arm and no one would ever know i copied it i mean of course hopefully not but and then at that point i'll just i'll bake out the animation on the other arm so i can just have the i can lock down the first and last key and then if I need to, I could run a clean curve or, you know, simplify curves. I, I don't like the way that that works. Sometimes it seems to, my, in my experience, it destroys the curve too much uh, without keeping it. It doesn't really keep the integri integrity of the, of the previous curve. So I'll use a script online, maybe like a clean sweep, or I think that's what it's called, clean sweeper, something like that, where it'll try to take redundant curves or redundant keys and get rid of them and it does a pretty things like that do a pretty good job i mean i i haven't had to use one in a while so it's sometimes it's just easier to do it yourself if it's a pretty you know simple especially something like this where it's a 16 frame uh, 16 frame run so it's just as easy for me just to do that than it is to run some crazy script all right, so like I was talking about before, using animation layers and taking a look at uh, the near final animation for the run cycle. There's still some work that needs to be done on it, but I wanna see how it looks in the engine before I touch anything, because there might be some bigger issues at hand, but just kinda of wanna see how it, how it goes at that point. It's interesting. Something I didn't notice before. It looks like the. Yeah, of course it is. It's so bizarre. I knew it seemed like there's a little bit of a. Going up one. Just a difference in the. It's like the difference of this, like when you see it like that versus. Like he's walking with a bit of a, like a, like something in his shoe or something like that. Um, obviously the animation for the legs would have to be just a bit different, but you see that little bit of bounce, 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 bounce. So that's what I was noticing just slightly. Oops. Yeah, that 
is not the case. It's back and forth. Come on, Maya, do your thing. So, thanks again for joining me on this adventure of a minor adventure, I suppose of another edition of E3D free information that you can take and use to better yourself as artists and animators and hopefully learn something new, even if it's just something minor as, oh my god, I didn't know the red curve was translate X. That's amazing. Um, so anyway. We'll uh, communicate through the next video. Have a good day.